want to give a little uh, testimony or feedback about the Spooky Central using the contact mode. And uh, actually, the last several days is the first time I really, really used the contact mode extensively, probably for like 10 hours a day. And uh, I can tell you one thing, boy, it really kind of crapped me out because I think it knocked out so many microbes in my body that I had that detoxification effect. Um, like in other words, when you kill microbes, what happens is there's, um, you know, the remains of them are in your body. And that's like a toxin and you'll feel tired from that. So I did feel quite a bit tired and actually I've been having great energy lately, normally, except... Um, and, you know, now that I've done this, in other words, for the three-day period, I really went to town using the contact mode for 10 hours a day during sleep and mainly. Um, I really, it started building up, building up, building up more and more where I felt very tired. And that is because of all the microbes that are knocked out of the body and the microbes have been destroyed and then the remains have to be, you know, carried out of the body through, you know, liquids you, you drink or whatever um, eventually it clears up and one of the things you could do to uh, kind of counteract a lot of that is to take a lot of vitamin C because vitamin C is an electron donor which will actually neutralize a lot of the toxins in your body so I do take a lot of vitamin C but apparently uh, I needed a little take more even than I'm taking because I still felt the effects of uh, the toxins from the dead microbes the reason I'm bringing this up though is because I just read about, again, Bill Gates <laughs> coming out with these vaccinations that could possibly prevent, you know, epidemics and whatever, catastrophes in the world with these new diseases, and he's got these new solutions with vaccinations, and I'm like, great. You know what I'll tell you? Honestly, he's one of the last guys on the earth I trust. I trust Bill Gates like the way I trust George Soros, Okay. Um, they're different, they work in different fields, but they're bad guys, um, in my opinion. Now, the way the Spooky 2 contact method works, I didn't use it extensively. Actually, I haven't been using the Spooky Central in extreme amount because, well, for one, the plasma, I was always afraid that Mr. one of the meow 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 cats would go near the plasma, maybe have a an effect from it if they sleep near the plasma when I was using it. I have used it quite a bit, but I did not use the contact mode a real lot. And that's the first time I really used the contact mode for a few days straight a real, real, real lot. And I have felt the effects of it. And I think it's very good that I've done this because it knocked out whatever the hell was left. Apparently, I guess, you see, with the contact mode, I was using it in the with the plasma, and I also used it without the plasma device in the Rife machine. But even without the plasma device, it's still very powerful because it's putting a signal through the body. It's I think it's DC, but the way he has the DC, it doesn't build up the acid in the body because normally DC voltage will kill microbes far better than you know you know the AC voltage that like say the Beck pulsar uses and that stuff which I, I think is not that strong at all. Um, he has it a certain way where it doesn't build up the acid in the body. He has it something. I forgot what he, he, he said on a John White, the guy that developed this thing. The other thing is where this, it, you know, so you run in the contact mode in the Spooky Sprite Central Plasma Machine, you're, and I'm going to show you right after I talk about this what the hell I'm talking about because maybe, you don't, maybe you're not familiar with what the other videos are. Um, when you're running the spooky central pl uh, plasma uh, contact mode without the plasma, it runs at uh, 100 hertz, you know, frequency, just a square wave. But at the end of each cycle, it puts out a PEMF, which is a pulse electronic magnetic field, or pulse electronic magnetic force, whatever you want to say that. And it also puts out a half a millionth of a second, half a micro microsecond, half a millionth of a second, spike of 320 volts. And actually, I think that's really what knocks out the microbes. It's harmless to the human body cells, but God, it's deadly to really, really tiny stuff that's 
could be floating around your body. And what that really and essentially is, it's like, I, it's well beyond a zapper. It's freaking, I don't know what the hell, it's in a stratosphere as far as I'm concerned, you know. It's, and even though you're using a contact mode, I had it going from the legs to the arms. So it was like doing a whole body. It was like really, so pretty much got everything in an entire body. And I felt like tired after a few days of doing this. And I was like, wow, now I think I'd know why. Because anytime I knock out, you know, I go through something, say, like spooky spectrum sweep, where you sweep for all the microbes, I'll, I'll feel pretty tired after that because it knocks out bad stuff. And I guess what happens is you knock them out, you knock out the bad microbes, and then eventually they start coming back, you know. And you do it again. Um, probably should do this a little more often. I think once it's done, quite often you'll be, you know, you're not gonna. I'm not gonna feel the effects of it. I'm probably gonna do this spooky central contact mode more often. Probably without the plasma because I'm always afraid, you know, a cat or cat. One of my cats is gonna go near the plasma and maybe feel an effect from that when I'm not looking, you know, or if I'm sleeping or something because they they, they kind of come up near there and they go. I don't know what the hell. Sometimes one time it happened. One time that happened, one of my cats <laughs> must have, he got sick for several hours the next day, and I think it was because of the plasma, his detox of, uh, effects of knocking out so many microbes, he was um, felt the toxins, and I said, oh, I don't want to do that. That's why I'm using Spooky Central mainly with just a contact mode, but that contact mode seems to be extremely powerful. And in my opinion, my humble opinion, you know, this guy, Bill Gates, who's coming out with all these things about, you know, he's, he's going to bring out these vaccinations to stop all these deadly pandemics that might be forming, and the global leaders are all getting together. I always cringe when I see that because I realize these guys are all about power and control. And possibly, even at one aspect, I mean, Spooky Central's got the plasma mode, it's got, you know, the pulse, um, the ultrasonic. It even has a special mode where you can use the pulse electronic magnetic field with a coil. And it also has the contact mode. And the contact mode has a, a PEMF signal in it, but it also has a separate pulse electronic magnetic field um, output with another device you can use. So it's actually got four aspects to it. But even just that contact mode only seems to be extremely powerful because I know zappers even an ordinary zapper and I, in my opinion the best zappers like that are real portable are the power zapper in my hum humble opinion okay um, if you use them like eight hours a day or ten hours a day which is a long long time if you have them hooked to your body from like your wrist to your ankles overnight um, with the electricity going through flowing through your whole body with the frequency even those are very, very, very powerful over that long period of time. But the Spooky Central, holy smokes, man, that thing is, I think it's, well, it's not, it, obviously it can't be the 100 hertz frequency that's doing all the magic. It might be partly the pulse electronic magnetic field that's the end of, at, at the end of each cycle, but what I really think is going on there is that half a millionth of a second spike of 320 volts that's really zapping the crap out of the pathogens and it's harmless to the cells. So I'm telling you about this because I think it's very easy to use actually because you know I put a video out on it before about well at least you don't, have, you don't have to turn your laptop on you don't have to turn your generator on you just turn the unit on and you just flip a little switch and you have it all hooked up and it's that's it you don't have to program anything or anything it, it that thing that thing seems to be very very powerful because I've been doing quite a bit of zapping I take a lot of vitamins I take a lot of vitamin C a lot of vitamin D with K2 I take a lot of nicotinic acid the true type of vitamin B3 nature's way alive whole food energizers natural vitamins loads of different types of vitamins and I ate pretty well. Um, so, you know, I can't have that many microbes in me, man. I was like, what the hell? They really did a job. 
And I think it's far more effective and safer and cheaper because, well, I guess the unit with Spooky, and I guess if you add a laptop computer into it, a specialized laptop computer and a generator, you're probably talking about 2200 bucks. but then if it lasts you umpteen years, well, that's pretty damn cheap, <laughs> you know, if you take care of your stuff. Um, well, I think it's got the potential to put out most doctors out of business and hopefully Bill Gates because <laughs> I'm like, dude, don't go sticking your nose in the medical field. I already abhor your Windows 8, your Windows 10, and whatever else spyware you're throwing in your operating systems. And I don't know what the hell you'd be throwing in your vaccinations because we already know you're playing around with the computer operating computer operating systems as it is. And I don't trust that guy to put out freaking vaccinations. I'm sorry. So my testimony is that even that one aspect of Spooky Central, from my experience over the last few days, is very, very, very powerful. Just the contact mode only. It's very, very easy to use, too. So I'll show you what it looks like right after this because, you know, I got it in other videos, but just to show you what it is again. Um, it's, um, I'm really liking this, I'm really liking this device. And I've already known that zappers do a very, very good job if you lose them, use them a very long period of time. There's a lot of stuff they can do. Like I talked about one on my American Survi uh, American Russian Survival Channel, and there was a feedback comment about a guy who used the power zapper with the positive offset um, over where he had an infected tooth, and he was holding a handheld, and he had the, a plastic bag on his hand where he's holding a contact over the uh, jaw where the affected tooth was so the electricity only goes through here and not through the hand because he had a plastic bag on there. He was doing that off and on, you know, an hour off, two hours on, whatever the hell it was, for like 30, 36 hours and no problem. I can tell you I did the same damn thing too. I already did that before. I had an infected tooth. I did that. That's just what a zapper. That, that power zapper works. It's good because it's very little. You know, it's a very tiny little thing. I'll show you what the hell I'm talking about. But the Spooky Central is a big, <laughs> big thing you can't put in your pocket. But it's powerful, man. It's it, it's like, I don't know how many times more effective it is than it's plain zapper. But it must be at least, I really can't measure it to give you higher clap, but it has to be several times more effective because... Whatever the hell that was doing, it knocked out a lot of microbes, and I, I thought I pretty much knocked everything out. It will freaking, just that one thing, contact mode. It's the first time I've used contact mode extensively. I was mainly using the plasma mode when I was bought, when I first, when I, you know, I bought it in, I was one of the first customers. I got it in um, January 2016, so it's been one year. So I'm a long-term user for the Spokey Central Plasma Rife Machine. I did not hardly ever use the freaking contact mode because I figured it's... I know what John White was saying about the spike of 320 volts at just a half a millionth of a second, but I figured, you know, well, I'm using a zapper. Or what the hell, you know? That thing, I think, is way more powerful than a zapper, and I know a zapper is very powerful if you use it long enough, but the Spooky Central is like... Holy smokes. That sh I think that thing can put Bill Gates out of business because I hope that guy, I hope it does. I hope it does. Now, if it does that, <laughs> you know what the money people are going to be doing. They're going to be coming after us. But I'm going to keep fighting because I got to, you know, I got to put this out in a nonchalant way and not make any claims. But I'm just telling you what I experienced. And I'm pretty sure what's going on here. And I have, to be quite honest, I've been digging around in this alternative, alternative quote, 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 medicine, if you want to call it that, with the not only the electronics, but also the herbs, different types of vitamins, different types of nutrients, for a long time. I've been studying this more than a couple hours a day for 15 or 20 years, and it's all self-taught. A lot of my information comes from medical doctors, but when you're getting, when you're talking about this electronic stuff, you're really not just really, medical doctors don't touch this stuff pretty much. 
it's usually like electronic people. Most of the medical doctors don't touch the rife technology or whatever you want to call it, the frequency technology to aid the body in healing as much as you might find people that you know might use vitamin C injections or something like that, but usually they don't deal with the electronics too much. And it's been very difficult, and I've got fooled sometimes uh, for a while. It's been very difficult to determine what's real and what's not real. And I've also found that there's deliberate planted disinformation out there besides you know the problem where there's vendors trying to just sell stuff. So I'm trying to give you a very, very straight scoop because what I think is correct is what I do. And I keep affiliations with vendors away. You know, I don't deal with that shit. I don't deal with that. I don't, you know, if I like the vendor, then I like the vendor. But that's not because they're paying me. It's because I think they've got a good product. I like the Spooky 2, and I like the Paris Apple. But that's my opinion only. So let me show you what the Spooky 2 Central is real quick again, right after this video, so you just know what the hell I'm talking about, possibly. Because if you haven't, if I'm bringing this out and you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, I'll at least show you what the device is. Okay, so uh, people are familiar with the Spooky Central unit. This is what it is. This is actually, um, these are the two leads that come off the generator. And the generator is hooked to the computer. I'm not going to go over that again. But this is the one you're interested in if it's contact mode right here. This is the um, ultrasonic. That's the magnetic coil. And this is the contact mode. So it's hooked from one wire here. It comes up and uh, it splits into two and then it goes to these paddles right here. And you have to keep them wet with water. Uh, these paper towels are on them, right? And you keep them wet with water so it makes good electrical contact. When you turn the unit on back here, this is an on switch, right? That's all you got to do. And I mentioned this before. You don't even need to use the plasma or nothing. You just run. To sit. And it's the first time I've really been messing around with just using the contact mode extensively. And then you turn it on here. You don't hear nothing. You don't feel nothing. And I showed it on a voltmeter already just to show you there's something coming through it when it turns on. Now, this thing is very powerful. Now, also, I've been using a lot, I just want to mention, the one I like the best for zappers is a power zapper. This is CC2, and this is a My Plus. I know he's got new models out there. He might have a My Plus 2 or something like that. Um, you know, I I'm, I'm use different ones, and I use them during the day. I like them because they're portable. Um, I, you know, they can use the same handhelds, or they can use little copper paddles that are on your wrist that you can put on there but the thing is the advantage of it is okay it's not as strong as spooky 2 central contact mode using the PMF and a half a millisecond 320 volt spike I don't think it is I mean I don't think it could be but you know this is a more powerful unit for contact mode no zapper is going to do what this thing does but you're going to have this plugged into the wall, sine wave, pure sine wave electricity from your household current, not modified sine wave electricity from some garbage inverter. Like So just beware if you're using electricity in an emergency situation, use household current or very pure sine wave electricity from a good inverter. If you're using this in an emergency situation with emergency power, not straight off your generator, like your portable generator. So that requires that. This requires a 9 volt battery and it's little it still works pretty damn good if you use it extensively but you know one's the heavy artillery one's a good pistol that's why I look at it or two good pistols alright so just to give you a quick overview so I think they work extremely well on microbes and by the way this light here this is my same old bullshit light that I use with my battery that made the battery freaking work again and work in it again. Still cooking man. I can't believe this thing. Anyway. 